Hi, yep. In this video, I'll be replacing the rear wheel bearings on the Colt ZZT. Um, the, the actual wheel bearing is a hub unit, so it should be fairly simple to replace rather than having to press it in. Um, I did make a start on the other side, um, kind of cheated, um, so I knew what I was doing. Um, but I have come across a few struggles along the way, uh, so I'll show you with the other side. So first of all, you want to spray some penetrant oil in a few areas. Uh, the screw that holds the brake disc on. Uh, the, the brake pad carrier bolts, there's one here, one in the back. I don't know if the camera's going to refocus. you then got a bolt here and a bolt towards the bottom that holds the, cal uh, the caliper to the hub itself. And then you got these four bolts that hold the actual bearing in. And also, um, there's a little T uh, female torque spot there that holds the ABS sensor on. So the brake disc screw uh, uses a TX30 or T30. The caliper slider bolts are a 13 mil. The bolts that hold the bearing onto the hub, they're a 16 mil. And bolts that hold the caliper to the hub are a T50. Well, I've now removed the caliper. It's much easier to remove the ABS sensor first. And there's a clip here that holds the brake hose on. Um, you can sort of pull that out with a flathead screwdriver or using a bit of leverage. Gives you more access to the bolts that hold the hub on. So yeah, let's uh, crack on with that. Well, this one decided to fight a lot harder than the other side. These bolts just would not come undone. Um, I finally got them off, screwed them back into the hub. And then these two bolts here hold the caliper on. I managed to do one on the other side, but unfortunately I managed to snap my T50 bit, so I'm now gonna have to head over to a mate and see if he can help me get them off. So, yeah, once these two are removed, the caliper can come off, the disc can come off, and then the Baron will press through, will push through, and then just a reversal to refit. So I finally got the caliper bolts off. Um, thank you to Mikey and Justin for giving me a hand doing that. So, finally got the bearing off. This driver side one is a lot more corroded. As you can see, had to smack it with a hammer. It doesn't really matter. The other side just fell out. Um, this one's really noisy. Not good. So yeah, time to fit the new one, reassemble, torque up the bolts. Luckily the new bearing comes with new bolts that goes onto the hub. Um, and then yeah, put everything back together.